that was done, we wiped down the floor, kind of like treated it with uh, calcium and lime based uh, rust remover. So that was this one, which I picked up from Home Depot. Um, but basically you can use anything that has calcium, lime or rust treating liquid. Um, now with this, it's all cleaned up. It's neat and tidy. Now the next step would be to treat uh, it with something called as a rust stabilizer. So what we're trying to do here is to have um, more than one set of attack on the rust that could happen eventually again, you know, once we put the floor and everything. So this is also called a rust converter or rust stabilizer. I uh, guess I picked up this from uh, Canadian Tire, but then you could find a lot of um, options out. So basically what this does is it will treat the places where it's bare metal now, those would be turning to black once it is done. Now, once that is done, we're going to treat it with a red oxide paint, uh, also called as rust paint. Um, it's also called uh, primer with red oxide. So this is what it is. Uh, once this is done, we would go ahead and do the final paint. Um, so this is the white paint that I've taken. Um, it's oil based. It also kind of protects all the surfaces once the oxide is in. Um, and then we'll have a clean surface to work on. So yeah, so those are all the products that we're using now. All the links would be shared in the description. Now let's get on with it.